Is your Grand Theft Auto crashing during loading screen or crashing at random moments? Then look no further. This tutorial will fix that for you. In today's video, we are going to be installing the game convict file with the necessary files to make your Grand Theft Auto 5 working again. So before we do that, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. Okay. We're going to be hopping over to my Discord server where you can download all the files. You can also just look them up as we visit the websites in a bit, but feel free to stay at my Discord. We also have a support page where you can post support questions and we will try and help you out. We also have a installation service and the remote installation for service for lazy people where we install LSPTFR, uh, graphic modifications and much, much more. Um, so yeah, hop over to the Discord and after that go to the sub verifications category where you can verify yourself. After that you will see the resources here and we're going to go ahead to the category called GTA Fix Crashes and these are the links that we are going to be visiting to fix our Grand Theft Auto. So let's hop over to those links. The first one is going to be script V, heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster, and the game convic file itself. Let's start by downloading them, script V. Of course, watching this tutorial means you already have OpenIV installed or else you wouldn't have had installed any modifications and you won't have any issues. Um, so I won't be installing OpenIV. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I also have a tutorial for that. Uh, let's open up the files and also open up our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. Okay, on our left side, we have our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and on our right side, the files we downloaded. Let's start with Scriptoc V, double click on it, go to the bin folder and we are installing Scriptoc V again. Uh, if you're experiencing any crashes, then maybe Scriptoc V has been updated. That's why. And the links that I'm showing you today are always the updated version ones. Um, so this will also, this tutorial will keep on working also for newer versions. Uh, you just select these two files and drag them, drag and drop them in the Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. <clears throat> then we'll go to the heap adjuster and we're going to select them and drag and drop them in the Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. And now we're going to change something. This is to uh, make sure you get no crashes. We're going to change the 750 to 2000 and we're going to save it. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go to pack file limit adjuster and we're going to select these two and we're going to drag and drop them in the Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. Also here, we're going to open up this file and we're going to change this to 40,000 and we can close that also and save it. And then we're going to go ahead and open up open IV. So let's do that and let it load up. Okay, now we're going to go to the update folder, update again, common data. So I hope you follow that good GTA update, update common data. We're going to turn on edit mode and then we're going to either here, you're going to see copy to mods folder and then you will do copy to mods folder or like with me, you will click on show in mods folder as it's already copied there. And now we're in that section if you say copy to mods folder you will also end up here in the correct way and now we're gonna go ahead and select this one right here but i don't think we can we need to extract it first so let's go ahead and extract it right click on it and use whatever you have to extract it winraw or 7-zip double click on it Go to this one right here or the newer version if you're watching this in a late later date double click on it double click on here and then you can choose whatever you want do you want more traffic or do you want stock traffic for this tutorial i'm going to be using the stock traffic i'm going to click 
on the file and drag and drop it right here. And that's it. It's that easy. So if you were experiencing any crashes, your enraged plugin hook, um, you can launch it now and it will fully launch it again. If you experience crashes during gameplay after 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes, then this will also fix it for you. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if it worked for you. Also, feedback is very valuable. So let me know if you have anything for me. And don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.